Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Minnesota Rocker High School Call of Duty League presented by MNVL. My name is Thunder McFadden, and I am joined for week number five, as always, by my main man on the caster desk. It is Mr. Skepter. Skep, week number cinco, and we're into yes, it. Sir. We're doing it. We got a doubleheader tonight. It should be pretty spicy on the maps, I, uh, I would say. Your thoughts? Yeah, man. You know, hey, good news. We're not playing raid all three maps, so it is going right. to be pretty spicy. We're going to get some new maps in there tonight, guys. We got Tell a little me. bit of a little bit of Moscow spicing up the search and destroy pick for our first series. So that'll be new, but we will be going to raid to start us off. I mean, it's only right. It's only right. We started out on raid thunder. Come on. Yes, now. as is tradition. We could even say that at this point. As is yeah. tradition, we will start. With uh, a hard point on raid, always a blast, always a great time. But yes, 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 for Search and Destroy, we are going to see Moscow, which is going to be amazing. It's going to prov uh, provide, obviously, uh, a different challenge here than we have been used to seeing. But these players, these players, they are no strangers to Moscow. This isn't a new challenge for them. They know how to play S&D on Moscow. But adding in a few variables that you don't really see uh, from raid, right? Even though the the lineups on the maps are are kind of similar, there's a lot more stuff in the way, I think, uh, when it comes to Moscow. So super excited for that. That will be map number two. Awesome stuff. So it's going to be game number one, Farmington two, yep. taking on Washington Tech. So those two yep. Call of Duty squads, Farmington two sitting at three and one, and Washington at four and zero. Oh. On the season, they are all undefeated sitting here right now. So that is huge, okay? It could be that this Farmington 2 squad, which has had, a, we've seen kind of a spicy season so far, right? So yeah. they are a good squad. They have quite a matchup, though, when it comes to this Washington Tech school sitting there at 4-0. And then the second game, Blaine Bravo and South High. Both of those schools sitting at 2-2. Two and two. And we talked about this last week, Skip, not only in Call of Duty, but in a couple of our esports. We're at a turning point. We're at a pivotal point in the season, right? We're passing halfway point, week number yep. five. These two teams sitting at two and two, this is a pretty important week for them. No, for sure. It really is, Thunder. I mean, right now is the time for these teams that are kind of near the lower half of the standings. I mean, you have to turn it around and you have to start making that run right here, right now, or at least start increasing your standings, right? So you got a better chance for your round one for the state tournament because mm -hmm. the way it is, I mean, we have so many teams that are still up near, you know, only one loss or undefeated squads like we have on Washington today. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the competition level is still so high. So for these teams that are two and two, maybe one and three, I mean, it's now or never, right? The the wind's got to start coming in. The team play's got to come together, and you just got to start making it happen. Yeah, you really do. You know, and we've seen it throughout MNVL and throughout our different esports, right? We've seen teams that are able to make a run after not having an ideal regular season, right? Farmington Rocket League season number one is 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 obviously what's coming to mind. Uh, but there have been teams that have found success and found at least some traction state tournament time even though regular season wasn't quite what they were looking for or what they wanted. Yep. That was last year, though. Now we are at a point in MNVL where the competition is stiffer. There's more competition, right? We As we yep. continue to grow as a league. And that, so right now, I think now more than ever, if you are one of those middle-of-the-pack schools who really thinks, hey, I've got a shot at the big dogs, I've got a shot at those schools that have really been performing here on the Minnesota Rocker High School Call of Duty League, right? This is the time to prove it. This is the time to take that two and two record, get a convincing win, and maybe even kind of a, a you know, a, a big slamming type of win, right? Something that says, hey, maybe we've got more firepower than we have been coming with for the first half of this season so far. Uh, as I mentioned there, folks, this season brought to you by Minnesota Rocker. We thank them again for their continued support as we get into map number one. Folks, it is Farmington taking on Washington Cod. And who is it, Streaks? And we have got a Dew pressing on the mid here. Hard point number one as a Dew is going to get an opening frag there at the middle. Big stuff for them. And Farmington, too, they're on the point here, Skep. 
Ooh, nice flank coming in from Adu right away. Picks up one of the Washington members. How many more can he find? It gets the timing and sneaking up onto Chesty. Drops him. That opens up the hard point. Now Farmington have a little opportunity here in a window to slide onto this hard point, Thunder. Yeah, looking great as Adu up here in Laundry. Doing work with this AK-74U. Just snapping back and forth to regain control for Farmington. But neither of these teams having massive control of the first hard point. Now 20 seconds left. Farmington still with control here. Moving back and forth, Adu going down there. Beautiful stuff here so far for Farmington. Yeah, we just had a little bit of a disconnect, it looks like. But I think Adu picked up streaks, if I'm not wrong. We saw him on a six streak there. So a huge opening for Adu coming out absolutely on fire, man. And that's a player I was going to be looking to for Farmington, too. Has to step up and has to be a leader on this squad. Most certainly. Is as scars are spinning around. You see that, Thunder? I did not. I missed it. I, I, I as You're just right now. spinning around in circles. Uh-oh. Washington caught here in control in kitchen and looking good. They move very quickly, and now they have position on the point. Adu outside with AK-74U trying to make something happen with that SMG. And who's going to crash in? It's Chesty from Billions from the Money Zone. And they retain control. This is huge. They take the lead right here, Skep. Yeah, massive stuff, man. An absolutely, you know, groundbreaking hold out of Washington Cod right there. Farmington 2 had the flank available, but Washington shut that play down and maintained the lead as we come in on the last 10 seconds of this hard point. Players are already rotating to garage. Gonna have a gunfight here. Streaks has two players peek on him at the same time. Ow! Drops one, but gets traded out. A huge start to that point, Thunder. Take it away. Yeah, absolutely massive. That trade happening. You see already action. Both of these teams uh, transitioning and rotating so, so well. Maverick up on top of the bus, but we'll go down. And all of a sudden, Washington, they are contesting. After Farmington had such a perfect transition to the point, boom, it's contested. These teams are going toe-to-toe -to -toe here in the garage, fighting behind the cars. A duel will go down, and Washington caught. They have control of the point. The trophy system goes out, and it looks good for this Washington squad. It sure does, Thunder. I mean, you know... I wanted to talk about this before we got into this match, but this Farmington 2 team was just asking for Inver Grove, asking for that upper echelon competition, suffering their only loss to that Inver Grove squad, and this is that next level of competition. This Washington team is undefeated right now, Thunder, and they are showing these guys a faster pace hard point than Farmington 2 is used to. They certainly are. The rotation's on again for both of these squads, but look, great stuff. Scars are going to get one. Or do rather, oh man, as you said, Washington, they look good and this is the upper echelon. This is the next level of competition. Farmington getting control of this oh, basketball. huge from Scarzar. Huge two-piece. Huge two-piece from the bedroom and they still have not cleared him out of that position. And now we're seeing Farmington 2 start to streak a little bit. Start to bring this scoreline within striking distance, Thunder. This is a great turn of events for Farmington 2 here at the basketball point. Certainly is as the point flips clear to the other side of the map, but a do will go down That is huge for Washington as they try to play, press basketball and get in on this point The trophy systems are down making it hard for the nades to go in but Washington they get it They get it the huge frag it's ghoul coming in takes out maverick lying down there in the corner and it's massive massive stuff for Washington They're gonna try to take this last 20 seconds of this hard point off of Farmington to edge just further and further ahead Oh, man, Washington looking so, so good right now. Oh, yeah, man. You got to love that ghost face operator coming out for Ghoul. I mean, it fits the name. It fits the season. Just Ooh. past Halloween. But, man, that's looking spooky out here on Raid right now. Great start, though, for Washington. But Farmington in control of this point right now. They are. What? They have a trophy system down in the corner. Scarzar comes out and gets... Uh, gets one on Ghoul, and it is solid. Look at this, Farmington. But they have had trouble maintaining the hard point. That has been their main issue. They don't have trouble getting there, but they have trouble keeping it. As the trophy system doing its job, Scars are also doing the job, but goes down. Goes down to Lumi, and now Abuser's going to get on the site, going after a do, and that AK-47 will snap away. Wow, contested yet again, and Farmington, here we go. Yeah, crazy play by Maverick to jump back on this point and contest a little bit. 10, 15 seconds remain, and we're going to be back to hard point one after this. Adu going to soak up what points that he can, but surely going to be looking to rotate to next. Ghoul already waiting here for him. Yeah, absolutely. Adu going to move off, going to sacrifice those last few seconds. Maybe a questionable move, but still, you want to be on the transition because you know Washington is already there and they are established. 
Ghoul, looking good, standing next to Statue right here. Again, trophy system is down. Things are looking absolutely solid for this Washington squad, but they're off the point. What is going on? Nobody's there. Well, those streaks just came through, Woo! forcing them to rotate out. Farmington 2, jump back on that point and start to close down this score lead. I mean, only 14 points behind now, Thunder. They're cutting it really close. That big Washington lead has disappeared. Oh boy. Farmington playing exceptional through the mid game right now and picking up, but look at this flank room abusers. Picks up Scarzar, one player left on the site. And just like oh. that, Washington turned the pace of the game. Abusers. What else can abusers find? He finds Ow. a third. Pushing back into the spawn now. Streaks coming up. It's an abusers goes off. Ow. What is Ow. that to do? Sheesh. Abusers out there absolutely abusing the trigger on that AK-74U. Doing some nasty, nasty work going up and retaking control of that laundry area from Adu. And this squad looks solid. Going to take it to 146-118 as the point will move. We are now in kitchen, folks. Wow, scars are throwing down that trophy system. is huge. Huge. Oh, big stuff for Farmington. But now here comes Washington on the contest. Bo! Oh! Yeah, man, Scarzar was going off, but Streaks with the 3K! Massive turn on the hard point right there. Multi-kill for Streaks, switching the turn of events, man. Look at the score, Thunder! Farmington oh. 2 are bringing this thing back Unreal. within 10 points now. The closest Unreal. the game's been since the beginning, since Washington streaked out to that 60-point lead. And Maverick links up for two in a row. Yeah. I mean, look at the spawns. Washington spawning out near Garage. 15 seconds. They might as well just stay back and set up next hard point, Thunder. I mean, Farmington really, at this point, lead. I think that's what they're doing. They're cutting their losses because Farmington on the backs of a Maverick, Maverick 2K and a Streaks 3K. Beautiful stuff out of them. And they take the lead here. This has been going back and forth between Washington Cod and Farmington 2. Now Washington over here in Garage. They are solidified. They have multiple trophies down. They are looking good to retake this lead. But Ghoul is going to go down. That is not what they want to see. Yeah, man, Washington just able to get back on the hard point. One player remaining. Farmington have the flank right now, waiting for reinforcements on the side of Washington. And Farmington drop a couple bodies. Two players left. Ghoul coming on towards weight room. Picks off a do. Waiting on teammates now. This is the push that, Far that Farmington have to stop if they want to keep this lead. Yeah, One they absolutely. Van. Oh, it's Chesty. Wait, Chesty took out two of his teammates. Oh, no. I mean, the action is just too tight. There's Maverick shooting through teammates and through into enemies. Everybody, I mean, it's just going nuts here. We're within 15 points. This is crazy. Farmington 2, they have taken the lead yet again. Adu doing work with that SMG. But still, everybody's moving so fast. Everybody's going down so quickly. They have trouble regaining control of the point. Listen, Skep, these two squads are looking fantastic right now. Yeah, man, they are playing just so, so fast. That's why those team kills are coming in. I mean, these two teams aren't used to playing at this speed. It's showing. The rotations are just a little bit sloppy, but at the same time, it's such a back-and-forth match. This is what both teams need to be bringing to the table right now. They're fighting fire with fire. All four players lining up and coming into this hard point. Adu picks up two to start it off. Woo! Abuser slides in, trades one out. Looking for a third, oh! gets the melee kill. Absolutely massive in the hard point turns. What? We got 30 seconds left. Abusers with a multi-kill in the melee to finish it off. And a nade from Ghoul. The streak's starting to turn. Washington Cod making it happen right now. Absolutely crazy as a dude trying to move from the pool area over here. Who is this? Abusers in Tiki holding off. Beautiful stuff for Washington Cod. Abusers had that 3K on the way in and now on the movement to the next point will go down to a do that is huge for a do and this Farmington 2 squad as they're trying to hold off and hold this mid and get just an even further lead. It's within 10 points here. Absolutely insane. Abusers coming from Kitchen will take down Maverick across. That is a massive kill for Washington. Yep, nice opener, but Farmington 2 have such a nice setup, man. This is one of the best hard points I've seen this school play. They just have such good positioning lined up. A beautiful Semtex from a dude to pick one off, but it's Washington Cod trading three back, getting an opening and springing onto the hard point. Just like that, all three players spawning out towards basketball. Washington might even have look on next hard point. That is three great Three players stuff. come up the stairwell. 
as Abusers goes through and cleans up, throws down a trophy system of his own, and cleans up the rest of the ones that uh, Farmington had laid down to try to take the lead back on this very specific hardpoint, Lumi. Lumi, big stuff out of that AR as this Washington squad. They now have the lead. It's crazy. Adu is going to try to get in, but won't. Goes down to Chesty. Oh, it's crazy. Scars are going to get one and then go down. This Washington team is trading out, and now they're solidified on the next point. Yeah, man. Nuts stuff. The back and forth right now that we have going in this game is just superb. We have not seen this much action Ooh. in one of our COD matches in a while, man. This is down to the wire. Washington COD oh. coming up, though. Here it 250 is. on the line. Bam, that's two, it. Don't get back to the site. Wow. And Washington COD come away with a barn burner, man. The amount of times the lead swapped in the mid game, man. Both these teams fighting tooth and nail for this hard point and it goes to the side of washington man unreal. wow what a first map what a first map unreal and this right here abusers comes through on that three piece right after adu had taken control of laundry up there and had been doing big work for farmington to get them out in the head i mean the lead changed so many times during that matchup wow great great stuff and Washington coming away with that win. They just had, and I think a big part of it, I mentioned it during that game. I think a big part of it was the way that they were cleaning up, going through. And after they after they get players taken care of, trophy systems getting taken care of, getting those things wiped out so that they know that they have control. I mean, both these squads played great. But Washington oh, yeah. Tech, uh, big dub on map number one, Scout. Yeah, man. I think Washington had uh, the quicker rotations, you know, the really, I mean, Burnsville was so good in the middle of map hard point, like that hard point, they, they were owning that hard point, mm -hmm. but I mean, you know, and they looked really good on basketball court too, but like mm -hmm. the rest, it just seemed like Washington kept getting the better positioning on the map and they'd end up getting that rotation or the flank. Like you said, Farmington too was so good at getting set up originally getting on that hard point. But Washington was just a little bit better at clearing out that hard point, retaining control once they did it, and not letting Farmington get back into it, really. And that big lead that far, that Washington got out to at the start really ended up helping them out, you know, towards the, the latter half of that game. Mm. But great game nonetheless. Both teams looked very good, and I'm, I'm excited to get into uh, – not standoff i was gonna say moscow i don't know why standoff yeah. came into my head that that's not supposed to be there right now no all good it is search and destroy though maybe that was what it was was it confusing? yeah yeah search and destroy on standoff i don't know maybe. whatever it was you're I all want some standoff action that's that's what yeah, i know right i love that map i love that map either it's way i map. love moscow and we are getting into it here farmington 2 adu has the bomb and they are making moves it seems to be towards this b point as he heads on up here Looking, looking, just scoping in. They're moving slow towards this B point. Oh, Lumi goes down. That is a big one as Chesty is going to rotate over here. They are going to the tracks, trying to find out where this bomb is at and see if this Farmington squad is actually going to push or not. Oh, no, Chesty goes down. That's another big one for Farmington, too. Dude, I think Lumi didn't connect. I think they started this round four I was on gonna three. Say, but two on two now, nonetheless. But what a flank from Abusers slides in, drops streaks too. What? Where did Abusers just come from? What a gnarly flank, man. Here it is. Just walks right in the doors. One player yep. down. How do you do, Adu? Sneaks through the back window. That's a clutch reposition, man. That reposition. Yeah. Look at that. Because Maverick's still watching that doorway, looking for the trade kill. Adu's like one in red room, red room. But no. What a, what a nasty little flank play repositioned by Abusers. Such a smart heads-up play right there. Nets him a three-piece and the round for Washington. Lumi didn't connect to that round, Thunder. That was a three-on-four round that Washington Yeah, won. okay, so even more impressive, obviously. Yeah, because no deaths on Lumi. No yeah. deaths on Lumi. So that was a 3v4 that Crazy. the users just clutched up on. Big-time play for Washington. As we have Washington, they are now on the offense looking for this plant. They go the other direction. They are heading towards A. Ghoul moving across the top of Eskies here. Sees a do, but goes down to a do. Maverick down as well. Oh, we have got a 3v2. Oh, 2v1. Wow. Oh, how the tides have turned. This is crazy. Now, Lumi and Abuser still up, but Streak's the only one alive for Farmington, and the plant is going here at A. 
oh, this has been crazy back and forth between these two teams. And now Streaks is going to have to get through not only Lumi, but also Abusers, who has been absolutely nasty with that SMG, making so much happen in such a small amount of time. Oh, it goes down. Washington will take another one. Yeah, man, a tough position to be in in that two on one. I like the I like the going over to clear that half walls position, very dangerous spot that most people normally play. But yeah, man, a do opened off the round very nicely. But Washington Cod, man, trading trading better, playing closer together, getting the job done. Yep, they sure are, as they are up 2-0. You saw Abusers just, I mean, running around like a maniac with that SMG. Crazy stuff. Adu with the bomb. And this squad, they are heading over towards the A site. Washington fanning out across the map as they throw the trophy system, hoping in an effort to get in a little bit easier towards this A site. Adu, oh boy, that's a big one. Abusers going down. But abusers will take one before going down. Ghoul, gonna take one, gonna oh, take two. Ghoul. Oh, she's got a ghoul. That was nasty stuff out of ghoul. Scarzar finally trades one back. We're in a one on two scenario. Scarzar left with it all to do and bomb out towards this A site. Not gonna be able to get it. Has to rotate out. Gonna try to find himself a 1v1 if he can. He's gotta be able to split these members up. But Washington making the right call, grouping up. And we'll see how Street Scarzar approaches this one. I like yeah, the flank. Certainly. I like looking the flank. For, looking for a flank, definitely. Hoping to catch at least one, if not both, of these Washington players. Not looking. They have bomb, though, and they are ready. Scars are coming in around this backside. Oh, man. Do they hear? Do they know? Oh, boy. No, Chesty's going to go down. And now Scars are in a 1v1. Has to get the bomb. It has to get the plant, though. Now Scars are has the bomb. Oh, Ghoul just has to play time here. Great stuff out of this SMG player. And oh boy, oh, we'll get out. We'll get out with the life. Ghoul just needs to get back in there. Oh boy, but we'll allow the plant to go down. And now 1v1, Scarzar versus Ghoul. Scarzar gonna get out of here and get way back off the bomb. This is a long ways to get from the bomb. Oh, but Ghoul will get in. Oh, we'll Ghoul will get in and the defuse. Huge stuff for Washington. Yeah, man, Ghoul coming in with a three-piece on that round. That is spectacular play to him. Washington Cod clutch up again to push the lead to 3-0 now. Crazy that stuff, is... man, crazy stuff. Yeah, you saw how far down there Scars are. Went, went all the way down Eskies and down into the pit. Like what? Just, I, Dude, yeah, for a second I thought he was going to wrap all the way through middle and like yeah, come back I'm like, around what again. You, I'm like, what are you uh, doing? That... You just planted. Yeah. Either way, hoof. Yeah, it had to do leave the match. Don't know if that was due to internet connection or what we got there, but Adu now Mia. Yes, Missing in action And Ghoul's puffing on that cigar. I mean, <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure miners aren't allowed to have cigars, guys. So that one didn't come from me. But yeah, right. <laughs> Washington God getting off to the races here. Yes, they are. As we have, I mean, up oh, Adu, Adu now, yes, has joined back in. And will Adu reconnect what? here? We don't know. A Maverick jumps through the window, picks up first blood. Ma Maverick's already down two. It's a four on one, three on one. Scars are left with it all to do. That is crazy. Scars are, oh boy, going to take one though. And now it's a 1v2. Yeah, As Scars are getting up on top on of this four. bus and looking to see if anyone is coming. Is Ghoul going to find... Scars are as scars are making moves over here. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh boy. And the finishing move. <gasps> yeah, there he oh, goes. Hey. Yeah, scars are not gonna enjoy the ending of that one. Boot Ouch. to the face. <laughs> yes, sir. Ouch. I mean, it was a good, you know, scars are put up a fight at least, you know, caught abusers at the last moment, but that boot just too much damage behind yep. that right foot of abusers. Yep. <laughs> the one shot KO on that one. At least a dude's back in the game. 4v4, yep. Farmington 2, chance now, to get back on the board here. Now, to be completely fair, we have had one DC from each team now. True. In uh, this game thus far. As Adu now has the bomb and leading the team towards this B site. They are heading through the building. And Chesty holding across the courtyard with that AR. Is Abusers going to come out of this alive? No. No, that is a huge opening kill. For Farmington 2, as they try to turn the tides on this matchup, streaks, looking, looking, looking. But who is anybody going to come on this flank? They know somebody wants it. Yes, oh, Lumi, Lumi going to get one. Lumi's been quiet for a round or two, but that's a huge kill. Yeah, that was an excellent shot 
Hearts out of Lumi there, trading one back. And shout out to Farmington too, man. That was a beautiful way to start out that round. They Both players teamed up to take out the player in Abusers. It was a great way to start, and we lost to do again. So Farmington lose another player due to that. Two on three now. Oh, Maverick gets drop shotted. Nice shots there by Lumi. Big round for this player. Scarzar left with it. All by his lonesome. Chilling out in the office right now, getting some paperwork done, taken care of. Yep. Yep. Looking Just, to get uh, out early. Bills. Oh, Pain and bills. Ghostface yep. Killer found him lacking. Yep. 5 0 lead Washington Call of Duty, man. This is. See, and this is where we're starting to see, man, that next level of play, right? Washington have kind of had Farmington's number in this search and destroy matchup, it feels like. Yep. We've had some close rounds. But overall, for, I mean, Washington have just been playing a superior search and destroy matchup. Ooh, pass it out, Candy! Yeah! Okay, I love okay. that! That's great! That's fantastic. Of all the gestures we have seen here, I that's got to be my favorite, certainly. Ghoul, cool. doing it, and carrying this bomb in towards the mid here. Gonna make a decision from there. Looking for an opening kill is Ghoul. Hanging tight with this Craig. Waiting, waiting, waiting for somebody to come towards the stairs. They look like they're playing defense, but they have the bomb. They're playing offense. Streak's going to come in and look for an opening one on Lumi, but no, we'll go down to Lumi. That is huge, huge, huge for this Washington yeah. squad as they try to shut it down, and Ghoul is going to get the plant. Oh, cancels plant at the last Ooh. second. Ooh. It, it kind of feels like Farmington 2 playing to not lose instead of playing to win Thunder. They're just giving Washington so much map space, so much free real estate a two-on-one remains a do all that's left for these farmington two chances of staying alive we'll see how he approaches picks up one he's left in a 1v1 a do versus chesty it's all going to come down to the timing of do clearing out the back side of the building wrapping on chesty now chesty on the bomb chesty oof. uh yeah an oof is the correct uh call out for that one thunder a the just way. Catching him. yeah catching him on the timing each other. that's how catching it is him on the timing yep no, that's how it goes in the 1v1. Adu getting Washington 2 on the board, and it couldn't have come at a better time, Thunder. We might have a comeback run on our hands. Uh, it's a distinct possibility. I wouldn't put it past this squad. This Farmington squad, too, they are good. But, I mean, this Washington team, they have had everything. They have had it all thus far. They really, really look good. And so I just, I think that at the end of the day, it's a... <laughs> It, it's going to be extremely, extremely, extremely tough. Um, as a do, we'll grab the bomb once more, and they head here again in towards the offices and in through the building, trying to decide if they're going to head towards A or towards B. Who will get this opening kill? Looks like oh, Maverick abusers. is going to go down, Maverick. Abusers. Oh, timing. A three oh, sheesh. Dude. What is that? That What is that? Abusers on for the ace. He sees him in the bus. And yeah, man, that's Whoa! literally it. That's oh, it. Stop. Just sees him looking at nothing, and he pulls out the sidearm and takes care of one last loose end. Yep. Abusers, I mean, having an absolute tear of a series, and yep. what a better time to do it, man. Show us that play of the game. Drops all three Farmington 2 players chilling out here, and man, he's not even satisfied with that. He's going to hunt down Scarzar, who's booing in the bus. And I mean, the sidearm's just going to be more than enough right there. Look at that. Whoa. Falling back. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Abusers that ran was... out of bullets and was like, no, 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 no. I want the last kill so bad. I'm not even going to bother stepping to the side for a reload. I'm just going to switch over to the Diamante and then just work, right? Dude, uh, that's all you got to do. And listen, the way this team was playing, they had it. It was all them, right? You know, especially when we moved into the search and destroy. That first map, it was very back and forth. And it looked like this Farmington 2 squad was going to have something to bring to Washington Tech. As yep. we moved into the next game mode. But again, we get over on to Moscow. It's search and destroy. And it is all Washington Tech. Except yep. save for one, you know, one kind of flash of brilliance there out of a out of a do uh, at the end of that round. Other than that, it was just all Washington. Yep. GG's. But that one is over. And it seems like it seemed like that one was over fast. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'd have to agree with you on that, Thunder. We we had a very, very close matchup in our first hard point. Felt like we had a bit of a series brewing, maybe a potential three-gamer, man. We haven't had a three-game series mm -hmm. on stream this COD season, I don't think, like if I'm being honest right now. And I really yeah. I had a feeling in my heart. I'm like, dude, that was one of the most back-and-forth games we've had. Both teams brought it. Both teams look solid. 
But dude, that same style of play, I mean, was just not there for Farmington 2 on the Search and Destroy, if I'm going to be honest. Search and Destroy brings a new kind of strategic level to the game of Call of Duty that most COD players aren't used to, if I'm being honest. You know, that's kind of where like the Counter Strike, uh, Valorant play calling and like strategic. You know, there needs to be some kind of strategy when you come into that search and destroy. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you got players. I mean, dude, Washington was absolutely bats out of hell, like flying around that map. They were there was no oh, yeah. breaks. There was no nothing. They were taking real estate and they were owning that map. And we just mm-hmm. didn't see that same kind of intensity and fire coming out of the side of Farmington, too. And I mean, that's the difference maker, man. That's what we see yeah. in Vergrove do to teams. That's what all mm-hmm. these top COD teams do on search and destroy. They mm-hmm. come in with the game plan. They play fast. They play fiery, and they bring it, man. A six-one victory, and that, it shows, man. It shows. Yeah, yeah. It was fantastic stuff out of both of these squads, really. But in that second, as we said, on Moscow, all Washington, you know, and um, you know, the mark of the mark of a really, really good team, or one of the marks of a really, really good team is your ARs are accurate, your SMGs are annoying. And yep. that's that's what that's what this squad is bringing, and that's what the top tier squads in the Minnesota Rocker High School Call of Duty League here that we have presented by MNBL. The top tier teams all have that. Your SMG players, they're fast, they're quick, they're in and out. Okay, they're getting kills that they shouldn't, right? And they're moving, moving. That's why they're so annoying. And then your ARs are there; they're right there, and they're watching for anything across the map, whether it's a Craig or whatever they've got out. You know, so right here we see it, Washington Tech. One of the top tier teams in this league and Farmington too. They're right there. They're almost there, but you're still saying almost, right? Yep. Uh, because yeah. today Washington Tech, they really looked good. Uh, and they did uh they did come out with a huge dub. So GG's again to both of these teams. And folks, we're gonna take a brief break. When we come back, we will be going into game number two of this again, the Minnesota Rocker High School Call of Duty League presented by MNVL. Don't go anywhere.